majestic unicorns. So today I'm going to be continuing my Pokemon inspired makeup series with the one, the only, Eevee. So I really hope you guys will enjoy and let's get started. So I'm starting off with a primer and I'm just going to apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lid and up to the brow and just blend it out. Now from Corpse Cosmetics, I'm going to be using Ravos, which is a light shimmery beige. And I'm just going to pack that on the inner corner of my lid. I'm using a eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit past my crease just because I do have hooded eyes and I want this eyeshadow to show. And then also from Corpse Cosmetics, I'm going to be using Madaka, which is a darker goldy bronze color. And I'm going to take that on a brush and just kind of sweep that on the outer part of my lid, keeping it very rounded um, and blending it into that light color. And I'm using a fluffy angled brush to help blend and also keep it sort of in my crease. And also bringing that up past my actual crease so that way you can still see the color. I already did my brows off camera. I just used a natural brown to match the wig that I had. Then also from Corpse Cosmetics. I will be using Overdose, which is a duochrome shadow. It's a gray with a red-pink duochrome, and I'm going to use the same brush after I kind of dust it off. And I'm going to add that on the very outer portion of my lid to deepen it up a bit. And I'm just going to blend it in the very outer crease, then dusting it off completely and then just blending with a clean brush well it's not really clean but you know what I mean and I'm just blending then to the deepest part of my crease now taking a satin white eyeshadow from wet n wild I'm just going to be applying that as a brow bone highlight just to kind of blend everything down and make everything seamless Now taking a black liquid liner, this one is from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to be applying a pretty thin wing and also kind of angle it down because I do want to have the wide big eyes like Evie has, so we're going to kind of mimic that. You can also use a brown liner if you prefer. And I'm sorry I'm not in the screen because I feel at life. <laughs> but as you see, I just kind of went in a little bit on the very outer portion just so I can have a bigger eye effect because Evie has some pretty big eyes. Now taking a nude eyeliner, this is from Scandalize by Rimmel, and I'm going to apply it on my waterline and my lower lash line. Um, my waterline is really red because I don't sleep at all, so I'm just going to kind of camouflage that and make my eyes look bigger. You can also use a white eyeliner, but I felt it would probably be a little bit too harsh for Evie. 
um, so I'm just sticking with a more nude color and then taking more of that overdose color and I'm going to be continuing my fake bottom lash line just in conjuncture with the little line that I did on the outer part um, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it with a angled brush into that liner and all the way across gonna kind of smoke out the bottom not too much but you can really see the kind of pinky red duochrome that this shadow has and then some mascara I'm using roller lash from benefit it's one of my favorite mascaras and I love it and I'm definitely going to have to get the full size once I finish the sample And I'll do a few coats of that. You can add falsies if you would like. I just didn't because it just doesn't seem like Evie will wear falsies. And that is it for the eyes. And now I'm going to be moving on to the rest of the face. I felt like Evie would have freckles. So I'm using a eyebrow pencil from Maybelline. And I'm just using it to add some fake freckles. I just felt like Evie's very innocent and playful. And the freckles, I just found, thought that would be really cute. So I am just taking the eyeliner and just making little circular motions with the eyeliner. It's a pretty stiff liner. And it's not very creamy, so I would definitely suggest something that's not very creamy, that's a little bit more hard, to give a lighter effect. And after I put the little dots or freckles, I'm going to go over with my finger and kind of blend a little bit. Because I don't want them to be too harsh. I want them to be noticeable, but I don't want them to be harsh. And now for lips, I'm using from Absolute New York, I'm using a lip cream, and it is a pinky nude, and I'm sorry I didn't focus, I fail again, <laughs> and I'm just applying that on my lips. And then I'm going to take a darker pink. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's the Salvation Velvet Lips in Heart My Love. And I'm going to add that on the very inner part of my lip to give it a more pouty, kind of playful gradient. And now I'm going to go to Cheeks, which I'm using Candy Floss Blush from Corpse Cosmetics, which is a pinky, peachy, really, really pretty blush. And I'm putting it over my cheeks and my nose. And I really wanted to put this over top, so that way the freckles are a lot less noticeable. And it will just kind of blend in very nicely. And the blush does have a bit of shimmer in it, but nothing too crazy. And then my favorite part is highlight, which I'm using from Corpse Cosmetics. The Sirens Glow in Argo, which has a really pretty gold sheen. And I'm going to add that to the tops of my cheekbones and the center of my nose and my forehead, Cupid's bow, and my chin. Just all the normal places you would highlight. I'm not going with a super strong highlight like I normally do. I just want something really youthful and cute. And I put way too much on my nose. <laughs> but I just want a really playful look. I don't want a harsh bam look. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just taking the little thing out of my hair. And that is the finished look. Very simple, playful, and fun. And I feel like it does wonders for Evie. 
So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and hit that little bell down below to be notified of every single upload that I put out here up on my channel. It means a lot to me that you guys are still sticking around and being awesome and just thank you for everything. All my social media will be below so go stalk me for a while or just stalk me forever it's okay. <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!